In this episode, I'll show you how to use GPS data in Lightroom. Adorama TV presents Exploring Photography with Mark Wallace, where you will learn innovative techniques on shooting a wide range of photography. Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Exploring Photography right here on Adorama TV. It's brought to you by Adorama. It's the camera store that has everything for photographers. Check them out at Adorama.com. Well, in the last episode, I talked about some of the tools I'll be using uh, for my world travel. This week, I wanna talk to you specifically about GPS data and how you can assign that to your photos using Lightroom. Now, a lot of cameras, specifically iPhones and smartphones, have this capability built in where as soon as you take a picture, the GPS coordinates are automatically added to your photos. And that is by far the easiest way to do this. And even Canon and Nikon and Sony and uh, many cameras have the ability to add a GPS device to the camera itself. And that's what you should do if you have that option because it's highly accurate and it makes this whole process seamless. You don't have to do any of this stuff. You just load the photos into Lightroom and the GPS data will show up and all the photos will show up on a map. And so it's very, very simple. Well, for my um, purposes, I didn't want to use that because we're trying to sh shave as much weight from our packs as possible. And I wanted a very fully functional GPS device. This is a, a Garmin Phoenix and it allows us to track everywhere we go. So not only are we marking where the photos are taking, but every single step we take so we can put that on a map. But what I want to do is I want to be able to take the GPS data from this GPS watch and add it to the photos I take with my Canon 5D Mark III or any photo that I take. And this works, by the way, with any GPS device you have. So it could be a Garmin Phoenix or maybe a Byte computer, or it could even be a GPS tracking that you create using your smartphone. And so the key thing is you have to have a device that allows you to export GPX files in almost every uh, GPS device allows you to do. This is an industry standard. So as long as you can export GPX data, it will work. So all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take my uh, little GPS watch and I'm going to uh, sync it to my computer. I've got a little USB cable. And so don't get too hung up on the specific GPS device I'm using, but pay attention to the, uh, the fundamentals that I'm teaching here. So my watch is now connected to my laptop. And what we'll do here is we'll zip over to Finder and uh, it takes a second here for the watch to show up, but as soon as it does, I'm going to show you these GPX files. Now, sometimes what you'll have to do is you'll have to use software that comes with a device to export their uh, native file format to a GPX format, but almost every GPS device has this. So here we have uh, our folder, it's Garmin, that's the watch here. And when I go in here, I can navigate and there are actual, there's this uh, folder right here that says GPX. When I click on that, and I'll list these here. Um, these are going to come in here and you can see that there's a bunch of different GPX files and you can see these by date. And so I'll uh, create these. There's one I created today. Um, there are uh, a bunch of these files from when I've been traveling and, and marking these. Now the nice thing is what I'll do is I'm gonna take this, uh, this track, it's what it's called on this Garmin device, so it tracks where I've gone. I'm gonna take that and I'm going to store it on my hard drive and I've actually created a little folder here on my video drive and that folder is called tracks. So I'm gonna open that up and I'm going to take the GPX file that I created today and I'm just going to copy it over here to this folder called tracks. Now you could use any folder, it doesn't matter. I'm just trying to keep track of all of my GPS data in one place. All right, now that we have that, we have a GPS device, we have a uh, GPX file, we've put it on a hard drive. Now, how do you use that and what's the, the fun and how does that apply to photography? So when we zip into Lightroom, we have Lightroom here. These are a bunch of uh, photos that I just took today in downtown Phoenix. I just walked around really quickly and snapped a few photos using a non-GPS camera. And what I wanna do is I wanna automatically uh, put those on the map. Now, one thing I forgot to mention, and this is critical to make things easy. You have to make sure that the time on your GPS device matches the time on your uh, camera. So make sure that if this is 12 o'clock, this one also says 12 o'clock, uh, or else you're gonna run into some issues because it uses the time 
to sync everything up. So it's gonna say, hey, on your GPS device at 1201, you said you were right here, and this file says it was shot at 1201, so it must have been taken there. So if the, the clocks are off, you're gonna have a little bit of difficulty. So make sure you do that first. Make sure the clocks are synced. And if you can sync them to the second, that's the best way to go. Hi everybody, it's Mark Wallace. Make sure you check out Adorama's latest contest. You could win some great prizes. So let's zip over to the map module in Lightroom. So we're over here in the map module and you can see that this sort of loads in a map and this is a Phoenix. So I'll just sort of uh, zoom out here and you can see that this is Phoenix, Arizona. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna figure out where I walk today and apply that to these photos. So down here, there's this little squiggly line on the map module. And if you click that, uh, you'll see that you can load a track log. That's the GPX file. So I'm gonna click that, and this is going to uh, open up to a folder here. I'm gonna go to my video drive, to my tracks. And here's this track that I created today using my GPS device. Notice it's a GPX file. And then I will say choose. And as soon as I do that, check that out. Here is a little route. This is where I walked today, it's a couple miles. And what I wanna do is figure out uh, where these photos were taken. So what I can do is I can uh, select all these photos down here in my thumbnails. I'm gonna select all of them. And this is the magic. So we go down here to this little squiggly again, click on that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say auto tag 21 selected photos. So I'll click that and it's going to now figure out the time and the location. So it'll match location based on time and check it out. Here we have on our map where these photos were taken and it's pretty accurate. So I can go in here and now three of these photos were taken somewhere right here. Whoops, I'll zoom right in. You can say there are three photos right here that were taken. When I click it, you can see these are the photos of the outside of the Phoenix Library. And I can see for sure that that's the Phoenix Library by going in here and saying, show me the satellite. And sure enough, that's the Phoenix Library. That makes sense. I took these from the parking lot. Here's another one that I took a little bit closer. This one here, I took a little bit closer. And you can start seeing everywhere these photos were taken. It's really, really cool. And that's about all there is to it. You can take that and uh, like, for example, this, these shots right here were taken right outside this little building here. And you can actually see exactly where your photos were taken. Now, one thing that's really important to note is that when you export these files, you are going to have the GPS data and it's gonna be exported as well. And if you wanna say, you know what, don't ever export GPS data around my house, for example, because it's private, you can create something called a location. So over here on the left-hand side, we have saved locations. Click, click the little plus button, and I'm going to say my house. Now this isn't my house, but this is, uh, we're gonna pretend, and I will create that. And then I'll just take this little circle here, and I'm gonna surround the library, and I'm going to say, you know what, anything inside of this circle is my house. Now the other thing I can do is I can go over here and I can say, uh, I can uh, change these location options and I can mark this as private. And now anything inside that circle, when those files are exported, the GPS data will automatically be taken out. And that's really important if you don't want people to know where you live or you wanna make sure that uh, maybe a school or children are safe by, uh, by stripping out that GPS data. That's really important. And now when you go and uh, export your uh, photos, all that GPS data is there. You can throw those on Google Maps, you can throw them on Facebook um, or Google Plus and it'll automatically have that GPS data. One more thing I want to mention with working with the map module are the Lightroom preferences, the catalog settings. So we're gonna go to Lightroom catalog settings and there is this little thing right here that says enable reverse geocoding of GPS coordinates to provide address suggestions. That should be on and then export reverse geocoding suggestions whenever address fields are empty. Turn that on as well if you want all the GPS goodness to work. And what that allows you to do is if uh, the GPS data isn't up to date, it'll go and search from Google and pull more accurate information. And when it's exporting, it will put an address in based on the Google address. And that is really, really awesome. And so then when you go in here, I'll say, uh, let's export maybe this file right here. Um, when I export it, so 
So I'll say file, export. Um, when I go all the way down here, I want to include all metadata and that will make sure that includes all the information and you want to make sure that you don't remove location information because obviously you want to include that if you want to update maybe a Google map or something with these photos. And so that is how that works. Now, one other thing that I want to show you here uh, on the map, what if you have a file and you don't have a GPS device and you want to add it to a map? How can you do that? Well, it's very, very simple. So what I'm going to do here is I am going to go back to my library module and in my quick collection, I have this photo of a crowd. This is the uh, photography, Photographers Action Club. Um, this is a group of people I uh, met just recently. It's a great club here in Phoenix. They're all over the place packed. And uh, I know that this was shot at the Phoenix Hilton by the airport. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go to the map and you up in the upper right hand side, you can search. And so I'm going to say uh, airport Hilton search and this is going to search Google Maps and that is the airport Hilton and now all I have to do is take my photo drag and drop that right exactly where it was taken and all the GPS data is there and we can verify that by going to the library and over on the right hand side when you scroll down you can see that the GPS data is right there there it is and so all of that stuff is added. So working with maps in Lightroom is extremely simple. If you have a camera that automatically adds GPS data, this is gonna happen automatically. If you don't, you can use a GPS device to quickly add GPS information, or you can just drag and drop those things on the map. Any way you do it, now you have GPS data and you can use that in other applications and I love it. Well, thanks so much for joining me for this episode of Exploring Photography. I have a bunch more tips for you in the upcoming weeks, specifically about travel photography, so don't miss a single episode. And you can make sure you don't miss a single episode by clicking on the subscribe button. So click on that right now. It's totally free and you'll get all the joys of Adorama TV and you'll see all of that stuff in your email and it's awesome. So do that right now and I'll see you again next episode. great looking prints at low cost, be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.